start off the day with a warning. Uh, climbing, uh, with climbing, there's risk of uh, falls that could lead to injury or death. Apparently, there's people out there that don't know that, so I have to put this in this video. Uh, it's 2020. This is already March, and this is my new system for this year. There's uh, right around five pounds. And that's everything. Everything you hunt with right there in that one pack. Uh, I modified everything from last year's hunting setup. I went to uh, regular Arbor Stroke. It's like you can get it anywhere from 7,500 to 8,000 pound tensile strength. Uh, I use uh, in my tethers, I have uh, uh, two seven and a half foot tethers, the rope, and in one end, they have a uh, 10 inch eye, actual uh, sewn eye or a uh, spliced eye is best. I've seen some guys use knots for their tethers and stuff, but sewn or spliced is the better eyes to put in it. Uh, I use uh, three Prusik loops now. Uh, total finish Prusik loop is 18 inches. I use barrel knots in mine. Uh, you can buy them already sewn. Uh, and then my leg loop is uh, I use an 18 inch uh, webbing, two inch wide webbing. It's rated at 6,000 pounds, and I use two of these loops. Uh, one of them's 18 inches, and the other one's 15 inches, which they could be both 18. Uh, one is for your foot. I use a tether uh, bungee type cord to uh, fasten that to my foot, and then I have a one inch uh, web that I fasten uh, padded also have it padded for my leg strap and that helps hold it in place on my leg strap. Now, uh, this is probably the quietest system I've ever used. Uh, you can literally sneak into the woods. A lot of guys work, go ahead and wear their saddles in. Uh, with the system, I uh, I use in a, an adjustable bridge and because the bridge is adjustable it allows me to uh, adjust according to my needs when I'm up in a tree or when I'm climbing a tree. And by putting a second Prusik line in my uh, leg strap tether, I think this is probably one of the most uh, safest systems out there because you're always hooked to the trunk of the tree. I'm climbing on a Hickory tree, and for you guys that uh, out there that hunt, you know that a hickory tree is one of your rougher trees. Now, I've used this thing on uh, wild cherry. I can climb wild cherry, but. Uh, Sounds like an army of squirrels coming out of the tree. Makes too much racket for me. But now on the poplar trees, I will say that uh, the system is a lot faster to climb with. But uh, even on a slow tree, I can still make it up them within, you know, three minutes. I'm actually getting good enough that uh, even trees with limbs, when I go ahead and use carabiners here, I can go ahead and go up around limbs even with it. And I use my uh, 
bridge as a lanyard when I'm, when I'm doing it that way. But today I'm just giving you guys an idea and showing you guys how uh, Now that's a one inch belt, and this is padded. This is two inch webby. The reason I put this on there is so that when your leg moves, it holds your belt in place. And keep in mind, this is an 18 inch finished loop belt. And they slide together with my Prusik line. I done away with my hooks or my carabiners in here. So these are just now slid together and it looks like a square knot. It's just like if you take two loops, put one inside and pull them, slide them together. That's the same way that this here is hooked up. So I got away, I done away with those carabiners that was in my system. Uh, it made it lighter. Uh, it made it lighter for one thing, and there's really no use in having them in there because it also makes it quieter by not having it in there. When your leg's all hooked up and my foot strap is just two inch webbing, I just uh, sewed a little piece around where I sew the webbing. Uh, when I put the webbing together, I, uh, I, I glue it. I use a fabric glue and then I put a t about uh, 700 stitches in it. Uh, and and the, radi the weight rating is, is pretty well equivalent to what the uh, webbing is. There's places you can go on YouTube that'll that'll show you how you're supposed to sew. Uh, I use a 10 pound test thread and you multiply that to come up with the rating you want and go a little bit over. And like I say, I also uh, glue uh, my webbing together to make sure that I'm able to maintain the strength of the webbing. But, uh, I added this piece on here so that when I get up where I want to go, all this is, is a clip. And basically when you get up where you want to be, you slide that up and your loop can't come loose. It doesn't, there's no, uh, you know, it's not weight bearing, safety or anything like that. It just keeps that from loosening up. But, uh, Whenever you start climbing with a system like this, uh, thing about these rough trees is, you now I stand up on one foot, and I put this trick foot over there. Now I'm I'm balanced. It really uh, it's not hard to balance that way. And I open my loop up, and I work it back and forth. So it doesn't matter how rough the tree is, I can still climb. It. Now, when I'm climbing, I climb on the, I like climb on the lean side of the tree, but I can climb on this side of the tree as well. Now, this piece, before I get off the ground, which I probably should have already done. I the bridge in. should probably do this for a left. leg strap and my bridge is adjustable I have a, a actually use a Blake's knot on this one I've seen a lot of guys use Prusik but I use Blake's knot which I like uh, I've, I've climbed with it but say say you get up off the ground you just want to set back now all your weights on your saddle and as far as falling out you're not gonna fall out of this as long as your equipment's good you're in good shape and then whenever I get ready to climb, go ahead and take the weight off of it, put it just on my system. Now when I first started doing this, I tried this with just a two inch webbing. And it's very uncomfortable. I don't know how those uh, uh, coconut tree climbers and workers use these things with just a two inch webbing, but uh, it was too uncomfortable for me. So I ended up padding mine to where it suited me. And, uh, 
go ahead and climb a little bit for you. But like I say, each time, I got my toe against the tree and I got my heel against the tree. Now you're better off to reach up and grab your rope and open it up. Now you've got your hands on both sides of the tree when you're doing this. But even though this is a rough tree and nothing slides up quick, like I say, you can still easily be set up with, within just uh, three minutes. And there ain't no other system out there that I've tried other than spikes that I can do that. But I hope this guy gives you guys a idea. And like I say, the, the entire system, yeah, it only weighs uh, right around five pounds. You, you, you can literally pack that all day. Uh, but once you get up in place, which I'm not doing it today, but uh, if you want both loops on it, I like that for a rigid saddle, I just hook uh, another loop on there with a carabiner now. But for my soft saddle, uh, I'm using a ring of steps around the tree. Is what I use as a platform to stand on. When I get up in place, I slide this up. Slide that up and I adjust this bridge ever how I want. And I take my weight off of this one. And I'm standing on my platform. And that's, you know, I've actually climbed the... Uh, climb with my bow, my bow's got a sling on it, uh, but uh, here the last couple of weeks I've been trying to hunt coyotes out of it, I ain't got none yet, uh, but it's it's a way of testing the system out, seeing how well it does, uh, the fact that I can get up in a tree within just a couple minutes and set up and use my coyote calls, like I say, I ain't, I ain't got none yet, but as soon as I get one, I'll, I'll put one out there. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.